Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from the Classy Del Mar Thoroughbred Club on Thursday, August the 11th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's take a look at race 7 this afternoon, folks. 5 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 5 furlong sprint on the turf. Phillies and mares, 3 years old, and up race for an optional claiming purse of some $70,000. Contenders number five, Linda Lou, number two, Salty Sarah, number one, Jax L, and number six, West Ruler. Number five, Linda Lou has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those outings, including a power run win in her fifth race back. Jockey Joe Rosario and trainer Richard Mandela center to the post. They fit the board with 63% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number two, Salty Sarah is both the overall speed and Pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, sprinting at five furlongs on the turf, has posted a trio of circle trips in her last five outings, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her second and third races back. Race 7 summary number 5, Linda Lou tops the contenders list, which also includes number 2, Salty Sarah, number 1, Jax L, and number 6, West Ruler, 5216 in the 7th from Del Mar. Bonus long shots, River Downs, race 5, the 5 to 1 shot, number 4, Soldero, takes a class drop of 14 track master units, is the speed leader in this claiming field, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt. Canterbury Park, race 2, the 6 to 1 shot, number 6, Runaway Gray Lady, nice overall speed for today's 5 and 1 half for a long sprint. So from Del Mar on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.